go. Ten rounds of boxing. Introducing to you, on my left, out of the black corner, wearing white trunks with a black stripe, weighing in at 149 and a half pounds, a veteran of 32 as a professional, the former great amateur boxing champion, now an outstanding number eight welterweight in the world from East L.A., the popular Armando Muñiz. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, his very prominent opponent from a great Los Angeles fighting family weighing an even 150 pounds on my right. Out of the white corner wearing black velvet with a red stripe. A veteran of 57 as a professional number seven in the world, Ernie Indian Red Lopez. Okay, Red. Mondo. All right, fellas, we went over these instructions in the dressing room. If there aren't any questions, Howie, what about you, Louie? Everything okay? Let's shake hands and box. Armando Muniz in a white trunks at 5'6", spotting almost four inches in height to Indian Red Lopez in the black trunks. At bell time, it varies. It is between a narrow 10 to 7 favoritism to Lopez to absolutely even money. Ernie, Indian Red Lopez is 27 years old from Fort Duchesne, Utah originally. Lives in Arcadia, outside Los Angeles now. At 150 pounds, a half pound heavier than Armando Muniz. At 5'10", he is just about four inches taller than Muniz. Did not box as an amateur, as a pro. 44 wins, nine losses, one draw, 24 of the 44 wins by knockout. His last fight, however, five months ago, he was stopped by Jose Anopoulos, the welterweight champion of the world, in a scheduled 15 round title fight, stopped in the seventh round on one of the most wicked punches ever seen in championship fighting, and it almost, literally almost, took Lopez's eye out. It was a one punch knockout. So this is first fight since then. The natural question, will he be a bit gun shy? That is Indiana Red Lopez, the red trunks, the black stripes. Now, Armando Muniz in the white trunks. Muniz is 26 years old, just a year younger. Extensive amateur career, 65 wins, five losses, two draws. Muniz, the second time scoring here in this first round. As a professional, Muniz, 27 wins, four losses, one draw. 19 of the wins by Kale, his last out here. A tremendously impressive two-round knockout of former world-class welterweight Thurman Durden six weeks ago. Armando Muniz, Cinemite. And Indian Red Lopez, exactly. One minute left, the first round scheduled for 10. The strategy of the fight, uh, Lopez has said Muniz is very easy to hit. So far, Muniz. A bit more accurate. Right, left, right. Muniz. One other thing to watch for, Indian Red Lopez. They say only amateurs throw a right-hand lead but he throws it like a pro and repeatedly catches his opponents with a right-hand lead. Watch for it. <laughs> Left hook wobbles Muniz. <laughs> it is scheduled for 10. That is a corking round one. in white, first on his feet. Against Indian Red Lopez, round number two, it is scheduled for 10, nobody been down. Muniz landed more punches than Lopez, some nice combinations in the first round. However, the most devastating single punch of the round, a left hook by Lopez that literally lifted Muniz up off the canvas. So take your choice, you want to score it for Lopez on the one big, big punch, and it was, or 
score of the round for Muniz or more punches and more punches landing. Flatting left, Muniz. One thing strikes me, Indian Red Lopez is being, there was that lead right by Lopez. Indian Red is being hit more than I thought he would be. Is that a tip off on things to come? Lopez is an awkward looking fighter, but he is not that easy to hit. As a rule. The question of condition concerns only Lopez. We have no reason to believe he is not in top shape, but we don't know that. Muniz, on the other hand, you know he is in top shape. Muniz has gone a long way in boxing on condition. Exactly one minute left in round number two of a scheduled ten round and nobody has been down. Armando Muniz in white. Indian Red Lopez before a packed turnaway house at the Olympic Auditorium. Thirty seconds, second round again. <laughs> Muniz admits he is not easy to hit, but it is surprising that Lopez has been hit so often so far. Again, that sneak lead right by Indian Red Lopez. That is round two. Well, I think the crowd is just as ready for this fight as the fighters. Armando Muniz in a white. Indian Red Lopez, nobody but down. Round number three, scheduled for ten. Pretty even fight right about now. Dangerous Lopez right hand. Muniz right hand. Remember, Lopez has been in with and beaten better fighters, probably, than Armando Muniz. Lopez has fought twice unsuccessfully for the World Welterweight title, in fact. Muniz has never fought for a title. Lopez using the height and reach edge with a jab. There goes that lead sneak right by Lopez again. That left hand right on Muniz Adams Apple. As you noted in the introductions, the crowd on Muniz's side with exactly one minute left in the third round. So that left hand by Muniz, not that powerful as Lopez was off balance. In other words, the crowd reacts more to Muniz's offense than Lopez's offense. Which is not to say Muniz may not be leading this fight right now.
Maybe he is, maybe he is. But overall, this has been a good boxing round for Indiana Red Lopez.